Hey guys, Weapon Game back today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series for our Warzone weapons. Today we're going to be covering the Odin or the S12.7 meta type weapon build here. I put a poll out on the YouTube channel yesterday asking age old question, which is better in Warzone, the Mark 17 or the Scar versus the S12.7 or as it's known here in game, the Odin. And overwhelmingly so far, 67% said the Mark 17. So I'm going to do another series here, uh, confirming it, and we're going to compare these two weapons. This one's starting with the Odin or the S12.7. So first off, I'll let you see the build here. Just some housekeeping items here. I am having issues streaming to YouTube right now. So the Twitch link is down below in the description of this video. Tomorrow's stream and Sunday may be on Twitch, uh, depending on whether or not I can get that resolved. So I will post on YouTube and tweet out if I'm going to be on Twitch or not. But if I'm not on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch link down below just in case. That's going to be the backup for right now. Also, I will have winners or the giveaway winners for the giveaway for season six tomorrow in that video so go ahead and stay tuned for that um if you haven't entered that yet it's going to be the last chance to enter i'll leave the description information down below in the description for the as fail you just got to cop comment on the as fail video and you'll be entered into the giveaway to win a 35 dollars gift card to your console of choice so jumping back into it here's the base Odin. i'm using the black asp blueprint here so what we're going to do here is just build kind of i covered this build a while back i want to say it was in march or April, shortly after the game came out. So we're gonna first off start with the Colossus Suppressor. Go ahead and select that. Now this is gonna give us the sound suppression, damage range, and recoil control. The cons here being the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness. So we'll select that. It's gonna keep us off the radar in Warzone and increase our damage range. It's gonna be big versus the Monolithic Suppressor, which is just gonna do very similar, except it's not going to give us the recoil control with the Suppressor as well. So. This is going to help us really rip this thing full auto at long range. This is kind of the goal with this. Now the barrel, again, we're going to want that 810 millimeter barrel. This is the longest barrel available for the Odin versus the 420 or the 730 millimeter, which is also going to help with your recoil control, but obviously the 810 is going to help even more. So again, the pros damage range, bullet velocity, which is key, as well as the pros here being the recoil control. The cons are going to be the ADS speed and the movement speed. For this blueprint, you can just see some of the uh, different options we have there for the fragrance weapon. So we'll select that. Now, TAC laser is going to be another key attachment with this since it is a big, bulky weapon for 12.7 by 55 millimeter. We're going to want a TAC laser on this. That's going to assist with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness. The cons, again, just visible visibility of the laser to the enemies. But again, only when you're ADSing. And with this weapon, we're typically engaging at longer, to medium to longer ranges. So it's not really a big deal to really worry about it. Now, the optic this is going to be one of the rare occasions you see me use a VLK three times optic. It's going to assist with the zoom level, give us a three times magnification, the cons being the ADS speed. However, it does have a lot of hidden attributes. It increases the ADS speed as well as mitigates recoil, which is not listed here. So that's one reason you see everyone in the game run this optic. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll leave the base stock. And for the... Ammunition, we're going to leave that blank as well. We're going to go with the underbarrel. We're going to go with the Merc foregrip for this. So we're going to go ahead and put the Merc foregrip on. That's going to assist with the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy. The cons here, aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that's our final product for the Odin or the 12.7 millimeter. Or excuse me, the Odin or the Ash 12.7 millimeter. So this is the final version that we're going to use here. Now, we've done a couple different builds with this. The good thing about the Odin, which we'll see when we compare it to the Scar later on, is you can do more builds with this. There's You can have this longer range build or even a shorter shorter range build using the base barrel and like a monolithic suppressor. Works out with this weapon really well. And you can switch up the optic on there too. And you have a really good weapon for a closer range engagement, which, which actually crushes in close range because you have such a large caliber on this weapon. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to run it for a longer, medium to longer range engagements. Now, the secondary weapon we're going to use here is the AS Val. I'll be covering this in its own specific Warzone video, but you can see what I'm running here. It's just a 5 milliwatt, the APX-5, the VLK Strelok stock, 30 round mag for the SP-6, and the underbarrel is going to be a Merc foregrip. So this is mainly built for only close quarter situations. Obviously, I'm not going to be engaging really anything outside 40 meters with this. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And then I'm also running stuns with this loadout. So that's the final design for the Odin or the Ash 12.7 mm This is kind of the old school meta Odin that was everyone was running season three, the, right when Warzone came out. A couple months after that, people were running this a little bit. Haven't really seen much of it since. So let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay and we'll see how this thing handles. 
All right, so starting off, we actually got into a bunker right off the bat. We did a lot of looting around the map, and we got into a bunker. I got our red key card here, and we ended up going down into this bunker, and it's funny. We actually ended up finding, you'll see here, we found the Foresight perk, which I know this is brand new with Season 6. I actually haven't seen it on the map at all yet, but you'll see here I pick it up, and it's going to show me all the final circle locations that I get here. So we can see all the circles. And again, this is really rare. I think there's only one on the map at a time. And this happened to be in this bunker. I think it's only only in a bunker is where you can get this. And so you get that. And I think you also get the specialist perk with this. But I do, regardless of whether or not I picked it up with that, I do get it later on. You'll see. So moving forward, we got our loadouts at this point. Uh, we have our two of our loadouts. So we got our initial loadout. Then we got another one. So we both are running ghosts at this point. And we're moving up into this hill where the final circles are going to be. And you see the car we tagged here. Uh, there are, is going to be enemies here. So this is kind of the downside of the Odin is I, I, I am not running it with a sniper. So I can tap fire decently at range. But you can see this guy just beamed uh, Moo Man here. He just beamed him really quick. So I'm going to try and revive him. This is a really crazy engagement here. And you're going to see we're actually going to end up losing this. But we're going to end up coming back from Gulag. And it's going to be a really in intense game here. Especially the finish is really insane. So they're going to start pushing forward. At least the one guy. The other guy, this is a smart play by them. The one guy's going to stay back and snipe while this guy pushes me. And unfortunately, you can see I'm just wrecking him with this Odin uh, easily. I probably played this a little bit wrong. I should have been a little bit more cautious and held my ground. Because if I had taken out his buddy, I would have been able to probably handle the sniper. But you'll see here, again, I just put myself in kind of a bad situation. Um, Try to replace my plates. I probably should have taken a, an extra second to do so because he wasn't really pushing. He was actually just going to hide on that tree and peek again. So I could have gotten away with my plates. But fast forward, we both won our gulag. I won just by capping the flag. I think Blue Man got his kill. So we come back to get our stuff. And again, this team, I'm not sure. They must have done some recons or something. They must have the same idea that we had um, is to camp over here by the final circles, which is surprising because they're in a really bad spot. They're right in the open, surrounded by high ground with only a little bit of rock cover, which they're going to stick to like glue. So Moo downs this guy two or three times, and you can see I'm, I'm tap firing with the Odin here at range, getting good hits, breaking armor. Um... We also have guys on our right hand side. So this is a really crazy engagement. And Moo's gonna rush. Now at this point, I really can't rush just because I don't have my Val right now. I didn't pick it up yet when I came back. So we clean up that guy and then Moo gets killed by one more guy here behind the rock. You could probably probably hear him yell in the background. It was just a really frustrating engagement because these guys just don't want to leave this rock. I can't help him out at this point because I don't have my Val or some sort of close quarters weapon to really push effectively with, with him on that push so i was my idea here was to just provide some cover fire while he pushed which i did but unfortunately there was his buddy was over there behind the rock laying down and so at this point i'm gonna fall back i need that val if i'm gonna take this guy and you can see he does not want to move out of that rock so i'm gonna pick up my val it's gonna definitely come in handy here in the rest of this match and this is a really good secondary actually we'll cover more when i do the val video for warzone but here at this point i've rotated around he thought i was still there i got some good shots on him rotated on his to my right, his left, and again, he's just not moving from these rocks whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and see. He's got a sniper rifle. I'm trying to be very cautious. Probably an SPR. Uh, and you can see there, I was able to push, stun him, get a C4 hit on him, and then actually kill him with a Val, which was uh, extremely close. He almost had me there, but thank God he didn't. You can see all the dead bodies there. So again, fast forward, just see some good. Odin gameplay here. I'm pushing forward to buy Moo. I have the money, obviously, but I definitely hear footsteps in this house. So I'm going to buy him really quick and get back to this tractor for cover. And uh, this is key because now at this point, they know I just bought someone back. They're looking around. Where did he go? Probably think I pushed to the house. So that guy I killed, he didn't even know what hit him. And then he obviously made a call out and this guy peeks the corner and I, I wrecked him too. And you can see that's going through full plate. So the, the time to kill with this is really effective and again you'll notice i'm running just with 20 round magazines on this just to to help out with the recoil with a merc foregrip and have the other attachments like the uh the tack laser are really key you can definitely take out full four-man squads with 20 round magazine if you pick your shots carefully but here you can see i bought Moo back and uh unfortunately he rotated down the hill because he wanted a little bit harder cover and this team rotated in over from uh from 
farmland area, I believe it is over there, or whatever area is over that way. I think uh, over by fire or quarry side. So they're pushing down in. They killed him. Now I had one sniper that I was shooting at who moved in towards the building, and this other guy there. So I know this guy's pushing me. I see him right there, and this is again where the valve comes in clutch. I could have probably taken him with the Odin, but I didn't want to take any chances. So I'm going to hit him with a stun. And again, you see the time to kill the Val is just amazing right there. You don't need the long barrel on the Val. I'll go in more in depth than that when we get into the Val Warzone video for it. But I've had quite a few wins of that thing. And that's definitely my new favorite secondary and primary in some cases. So kill his buddy. And now you can see him scoping me on my blue mark there. Uh, the gas is pushing him. So he's got to move. So unfortunately, he put himself in a really bad spot. Um, the gas actually downed him. So I don't get this kill, unfortunately. But uh, the gas downed him. I clean him up. Uh, don't get the kill because it looks like the gas did the final damage to him, which is odd. But, okay, I'm going to run the gas, get his stuff all set. Now, I'm pushing up. There's only three other teams left. So, at, at this point now, two because I'm hearing a lot of fire on my blue mark. So, I'm, I'm keeping track of that. I marked it. And there you can see you got a riot shield guy pushing in. And I'm just going to let that Odin rip all 20 rounds at him. Um, you may miss some, some shots here and there. You can definitely tap fire a little bit more effectively, but take him out. Now, fast forward, I can see the circle layout. I know I'm going to have to rotate. They've got to be somewhere uh, to my right. And there you can see some fire, and I'm going to see a sniper scope glint over there. So they're on the other hill, um, and they're going to push me. This is going to be a really intense ending here. So I know where he is. I'm assuming they're both over there, and they actually play this perfectly, and good for them. This is obviously a coordinated team. They knew what they were doing. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I can move to get into the circle. And there you can see I actually picked up uh, the specialist perk off of one of the guys. So I can I had the uh, notification when someone was looking at me, which saved my life right there. That guy was looking at me from the top of the tail. Now you can see on pinch, there's a guy left and right. So they, they split and pitched me between these rocks. This guy puts himself in a bad spot where he has to push down the hill. He's in the wide open. Down him. And then I see this guy pushing up. Got my veil out. Boom. And I'm gonna able to get the stuns and then obviously just clean them up pretty quickly with the Val right there at those close quarters because that 920 round permanent fire rate on that weapon is just amazing. But you can see the Odin just deals so much damage, especially at those those medium to longer ranges. Um, even at the long, long ranges, you can tap fire it. If we had a four at times optic, I think it would even be better because you could kind of pinpoint your shots a little better. I really like the variable zoom of the sniper optic on this, but again, you get a scope glint with that. So that's why the VLK seems to be a good option with this one. Um, I think it ended up being a seven kill for me. I should have had eight or nine, but it didn't give me the kills for some of those, which I've noticed has happened. It's a little odd sometimes that happens. But let me know down below what you guys think of the Odin or the S12. This is... This is one of a few builds, and when we actually do the direct comparison, which is better, Scar versus Odin, I'll go into yeah. the pros and cons of each and some of the different builds you can do, but this Odin really never disappoints. You can use it in close quarters, too, with the other build I showed, and, the, and I have that video on my channel, too. You can check it out, but again, this weapon really just hits hard. It's a good, reliable, quick-killing weapon at those ranges where you can really take on kilos. Um, and other weapons like Growls, etc. Especially now the meta seems to be in a pretty solid spot where you can get away using with using the uh, Scar and the Odin effectively in games, which I've been doing pretty effectively, I think, all this week. And I'm actually really happy where the meta is. They did the patch for the uh, for the new SPR, or the R700 rifle today, which is good. So it's no longer hit scan. I'm hoping. Haven't really noticed much people using it after that, which is good. So, again, let me know down below what you guys think of this Odin build, which you think is better, the Odin or the Scar. Comment which is better down below and why. And until next time, this is Buffer Gaming, out.